this guy down, make sure he's got nothing on. We will. Relax, relax. You okay? And then you think I'm gonna call y'all and describe myself? That's stupid. While pranks are usually intended for harmless fun, there are times when pranksters cross the line, blurring the distinction between humor and harm. Going, going in and out, like people keep coming up to the car and. Get stuff in the car. No, why would the, why the fuck would you car? say that? I'm not, bro, I'm not going to jail for you. <laughs> hey, little man. Oh, I'm off that coke right now. Here are some cases when prank 911 calls go wrong. Up first, an 18 year old teen, Tiara Everett, called 911 to report a hostage situation inside a Georgia McDonald's. It turned out to be a prank. Disturbance here of any kind? Like somebody threatening with a gun? Like their order is messed up? And then you think I'm gonna call y'all and describe myself? That's stupid. On April 7th, 2023, at approximately 4.24 p.m., a call was placed to the emergency 911 center. A female caller reported that a man at a McDonald's was upset because his order was incorrect. She further stated that five people were being held at gunpoint by the man, who was armed with a large firearm and threatening to kill anyone. The caller mentioned she was hiding in the restroom, but the call disconnected when she noticed deputies arriving. When the officers arrived, they found out that the situation was not as the caller had said. Deputies found everything was normal, and there was not a gunman inside the restaurant. They determined that the caller made the false 911 all inside the McDonald's lobby. Deputies spoke to the manager, and she confirmed their suspicion. Not this one. Get a good location. They have somebody public service with her in the restaurant. Wow. I don't know. I, got, I need to know which one to go to. They didn't stay right there. Only one that close to this one is going on. Uh, Any home. other unit coming to McDonald's, check the one on Spring Street. Hmm. She's never walked here either. 
Y'all had no disturbances of any kind? Except for an employee being mad. An employee being mad? Yeah, but. Yeah, that happened. Or who was all, it? All day long. <laughs> I mean, all day long. But nothing where anybody, like, threatened anybody or got them. Mm -hmm. Not like I told him. I've been here since 6 o'clock. I've been here since 6 o'clock. So midnight tonight. Well, somebody, I guess somebody near here or inside here keeps calling 911 saying they call saying that everybody's being held hostage. She was in the bathroom. Motor vehicle accident. Hello? I already I checked that one and, and this one. After a thorough investigation, deputies discovered someone inside the lobby had made the false call. The female suspect was 18 year old Tiara Everett. All right, so this number that I'm calling from, is this the number that called in in reference to that uh, hostage at uh, McDonald's over here? I'm here. <laughs> are, are you in the discussion? Yes, sir, it is. It's the same number? Yes, sir, it is. Well, let this that one know we got the person who made the call. Uh, you, you, you have the person that made the call? Well, this is her phone. Okay, so you have her phone, but do you have her? Yes, yeah, she's here. I got the phone from her. So this is the phone, this is the number right here that came from that, uh, came from that call, that made the original call. Yes, sir, it is. <sighs> there it is. Can you put this number in the cab? Well, my cab ain't no, but still put it in the cab for me this We out with a, uh, Chris. Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at You got an ID? Unit five one. Okay, then. All right, well, thank you. You are, you, do you have her Well, we finna do something to her. We got her over here, though. She was, she was on the phone. Uh, looked like she was talking about Wi-Fi, I think. Uh, okay. And uh, so we, I got the phone from her. She let me use it. I called 911, and, and this is the number that's been called. All right. Uh, well, yes, sir. Okay. All right. This is it. This is the phone. Let's get her information. See what she got going on. Yes, sir. Yeah, oh, let us know what's going on, okay? You got some idea on mail? Uh, you got some idea on Yeah, I got paper stuff in my ID. Is this what you want right now? What is it, Georgia ID? Yeah. Is this you right here? Yeah, that's my old copy right there. You ever had this? Have you ever had a driver's license? Uh uh. I was going to get those this year. What is this right here? Uh, huh? This a, this a, 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 a learner? No, a that's ID. my ID. You ain't got no ID no more here? I see it. I can't hardly see it. Oh, tight, bro. She can run that old ID phone. ID number, bro. Come to my, come to my office. Come to my office. The officers decided to question her. What? Y'all look at me? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Well, a lot of bit, yeah. So what you talking about? Huh? I just got here for an interview. I know. I ain't for going out for no more. I'm not doing it. And then you think I'm going to call y'all and describe myself? That's stupid. And if you got anybody use your phone? Don't nobody use my phone? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Because I sit right here. I love my stuff on the table and I want to press it. My phone, purse, all that was on the table. <laughs> How old are you? 18. I don't do no best like that. You're a child. Your, who's your parent? You got? I was saying, you just got the phone with Oh, that's your, who is that? That's my mom in law Your mother in law Yes. She just dropped me off. You got any other family? No, I don't fool with them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She got her thing. No 1099 with that. Came back here. At first, she denied that she had made the call and even told the officers that someone else must have used her cell phone when she went to the restroom. 
The officers decided to check the CCTV footage. There she's sitting, still sitting. Her purse is there. No, she's sitting. She's real calm, isn't she? Yeah. Well, now she's a little shaky. But you can see her sitting there the whole time. That's why I got this apple. I haven't seen her move yet. And we're back at 1649. So she's lying to y'all. She says she moved. We're all right. We're to 451. What time did we get this call? 10, 10, 23. Simple. You say 1623? Yep. 1623. So you want me to go back to 1600? Okay. I think the second time we came in right there. Yeah. So let's go to. We'll go to 400. She's not there at 4 o'clock. Missing the phone proof missing. Mm -mm. And that's at four o'clock. And y'all come in at four twenty three. So let's go to let's go to the next let's go into the main entrance. She's not in the main entrance here. Do you have to make reservations and uh come for the interview? Mm hmm So she was supposed to be here for the interview. Mm -hmm. Everett soon realized that police officers are not really fans of stupid pranks that waste valuable public resources. You have to come with us, okay? Come with y'all? Yeah. For what? Miss using 911 call, okay? That's not me. Come on. So come can on. I call her and tell her how to come? Come on. I'm going to put this in the pocketbook, okay? Mm -hmm. Up on down off the So y'all can take me for none that I didn't do? Ma'am, come on. Stop twitching your wrist. That's all too tight. Tiara Everett was taken into custody and transported to the Bibb County Law Enforcement Center. She was charged with false report of a crime and unlawful conduct during a 911 call. But up next, let's take a look at how a false call to 911 snowballed into an international diplomatic scandal when a hotel clerk called the cops on a 41-year-old Arabic-speaking visitor, Ahmed Al-Manhali. Someone dressed like that just holding phones isn't enough to call and say they're pledging their allegiance to ISIS. That's a totally different ballgame. We'll apologize tenfold, but if I just need him to... The Avon Police Department received the 911 call on June 29, 2016, at 5.53 p.m. A woman said she was calling on behalf of her sister, a desk clerk at the Fairfield Inn and Suites. Avon Police Sergeant Rupel. Hi, my sister works at the Fairfield Inn on Colorado Avenue in Avon. She is a desk worker. Okay. There is a male in a full headdress with multiple disposable phones pledging his... Um, hold on. Pledging his allegiance or something to ISIS. Okay. Is very panicky. Okay, is your sister able to call us? No, she is at the front desk. Okay, does she have a description of this male? Or in a vehicle, or is he on foot? Um, he said there's a suspicious male here at the with. desk with disposable phones, two of them in a full headdress. And she and he's stating he has pledged ISIS to uh, allegiance to ISIS, and he's in the lobby right now. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll send some officers down. Meanwhile, another 911 call came in from the desk worker's father requesting assistance on behalf of her daughter for the same reason. He said she was terrified and hiding in the back. Avon, please. Yes. Uh, hello. Yes. My, my daughter is working at Fairfield Inn. I was just. Are you? Is this his dad? Yes. I was just on the other line with and I got officers en route. Uh, uh, thank you. She, All right. She said she's in the back. I, I have the text. Uh, she said she's terrified. So. Officers arrived at the hotel at 5.57 p.m. and found Alman Holly at the hotel entrance on a cell phone. I got a third-party call from the sister of the desk clerk and also her father advising there's an Arabic male in full headdress, several cell phones claiming his allegiance to ISIS. 
She's locked herself in the bathroom. No weapons seen at this time. I do not have a clothing description or anything further on the mail in the lobby. Head to Fairfield. Emergency traffic. I'm still on hold with uh, music for the main lobby. I'm not getting anybody to death right now on phone. There he is. There he is. Upon arriving at the location, they met Ahmed unarmed standing at the hotel door. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on your car. Um. Got you. I'm on you. Get in front of me. Get in front of me. The shield will come behind you. Awesome. Head straight out in front of you. Don't move. Awesome. Go in. Grab his hands. Cuff him up. We're covered. Cover. 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 What the Take the phone away! Cover the entrance selfie, okay, back again. What you do? Go. Alright, you Where got his arm? Grab that arm. You good? Yeah. 37, and we have one detained, just one. We're in the main entrance. So the three neck loops are right here. We're gonna put them in. Pull up. We're gonna check them first. Alright, turn. Turn to your left. Or your right. Turn to your right. What happened? Hold up. Hold not up, good, up. Hold oh, dude, not good. That's good. That's it, brother? One to ten. Sips it by himself. Not good, this. Yeah, I'm tourist, and this is good, not good. Yeah, it's not good. It's right. Make a sweep this place. I don't know. It's kind of good. 54. He said he's by himself. He said he's by himself. Anybody else? He said he's by himself. This guy down, make sure he's got nothing on. We look. Relax, relax, we look. Relax. We're gonna get you to stand up first. You got that? Sit up. Alm and Holly complied, sinking to his knees in a position resembling a prayer pose as officers approached. While officers handcuffed him and removed his wallet, others made contact with the desk clerk, Alexis Silva to determine if Alman Holly had made any statements related to ISIS. Somewhere in Avon or Illyria, um, he wanted a month's stay. He was leaving July 13th to the 14th, around there, and I helped, tried to help him as much as possible. Everyone said that they were booked and they couldn't help him. I told him that he wanted to sit in our lobby. He didn't want to leave. Um, I, so you I, said you guys were booked? Yeah, we said we were booked. Okay. Everywhere he called is booked, too. It's summer. People are Sure, me. absolutely. Um, so, I mean, that's what he had two phones. He was searching the internet on one phone, making calls on a disposable phone. Um, that's really all that I know. It just freaks me out because of everything. He I didn't know. say anything else? No, it just, it's just. Uh, because the call we got is that someone said that he was pledging his allegiance to ISIS. No, and no, 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 no. He, Michael, this is going on. Who, who, who would have said that? Who, I, who made the call? I told my sister, I said, I said, I it's my sister, her name's Allison. She called, I said, he's dressed in a weird outfit. He has two disposable phones. I said, I don't know what to do because of everything. 20, 30 units, stop your uh, search. Because everything is going on with ISIS, is what I said. I said, call the police because we couldn't because he kept coming up here. Stand down, stand down, stand down. I'm so sorry. It's because he kept coming up here and asking questions and stuff like that, and I, we couldn't. Okay, well, un unfortunately, the call that came to us was that he was screaming, pledging his allegiance to ISIS, yeah. and waving his phones around. That's a very big, he different picture phones. than what happened. He, he did have two phones, but he was talking to a guest out here in the lobby who was trying to find some directions, and I think I've got that card up there. It was a um, Hershenberger Organic Farm 1556. Seven. Okay. I well, just I'm not. I'm not saying it's nothing, but the call that we got is nothing. What happened? So, I think things got a little blown out of proportion. Oh. 
I apologize. Someone dressed like that just holding phones isn't enough to call and say they're pledging their allegiance to ISIS. That's a totally yeah. different ball game. Right. Well, I didn't know who the call All right, just sit was, tight. So. Nobody nobody leave. Okay. Let me go try to smooth things over with this gentleman. Uh, okay. Nobody ever said anything about ISIS. She called her sister because he, she was nervous because he looked like that and had two phones. So let's go dust this gentleman off. Turns out it was a false accusation. It was evident to the responding officers that there was a clear miscommunication between the desk clerk and her relatives. Hey, it's going to be a false report, boys. Relative of the sister. Hey. Chaba. You guys go get a statement from the desk clerk. Stow your gear. Jesus Christ. Well, well. Okay. Uncuff him. So you don't, your brother's not here? Yeah. He's not a uh, brother. Yeah. I can't speak. So what language do you speak? Uh, Arabic. Arabic? Do you understand English at all? Um, a little bit? Al Menhali, who owns a marketing company in the UAE, had been in the United States on a tourist visa since April for treatment at the Cleveland Clinic for several medical conditions. As soon as the facts became clear, the officers apologized to Mr. Al Menhali and released him. This is his car, my brother's car. Which one? It's Avon PD. Can you wait a second? In the parking lot or out on the road? The silver minivan? Uh, hey, do you guys have any Arabic uh, translators that you can get me in touch with? The white Honda? Uh, on my telephone. Yeah, it'd be great if you could. You can put your, you shoes, put your on. shoes on. You, you can put your shoes on. Uh, I, I want a call embassy. Go there somewhere. Arabic. Yes. Are you able to call? What's his name? Ahmed. Uh, Ahmed? He's police. He's police? He's, police? Yeah. He's a police officer? Where? In Cleveland? In Cleveland? Does he speak Arabic? Uh, yeah, English. Same, same. Uh, the customer's standing right next to me. Going inside. I'm sorry, say that again. So this is the Avon, Ohio Police Department, and we have a we have a gentleman here who spoke, speaks Just Arabic and broken English, and I'm wondering if you could help you pass messages to him for me. Call him again. So, 
I need you to explain to him why we came down here. We are at a hotel right now, and he was trying to see if they had a room available. They had no rooms available. He's dressed in Arabic clothing, and he was making the front desk clerk very nervous because he was not leaving after they told him that he uh, had no rooms available. He had a couple cell phones with him, and the front desk clerk unfortunately panicked and called a family member and told them that there's an Arabic male dressed in full Arabic clothing with multiple cell phones. And the family member proceeded to call the police department and tell us that he was pledging his allegiance to ISIS and making all kinds of statements, waving his cell phones in the air. So we came down here and um, at gunpoint had him go down to the ground and put him in handcuffs until we figured out what was going on. So. <laughs> I need you to try to explain why we did what we did because of the phone call that we got. It was obviously a misunderstanding from the desk clerk. The desk clerk called a family member. The family member called the police. And obviously the story got way different uh, in between those two people. So, when we But the whole ordeal took a toll on Mr. Alman Holly. But if you could explain to him why we did what we did, that's my, my main concern. We'll, we'll apologize tenfold, but if, I just need him to... And, uh, oh, well, he just... He just passed out on me, so I'll have to give you a call back. We'll, we'll call you back, okay? Thanks. He just collapsed on us. So, the front desk clerk had this gentleman come in looking for a room. He was told there were no rooms. He had several cell phones with him. She got nervous because of how he was dressed, called a family member. The family member then called us and said there was an Arabic he had a stroke. He's here in Cleveland for his yeah, stroke, stroke treatment. Okay. Family member called us said there's an Arabic male with a bunch of cell phones pledging his allegiance to ISIS in the lobby. Is this your brother? No, no, okay. no, no. My daughter was. Your there. daughter's fine. Relax. Your daughter's fine. What? What you guys heard is not what happened at all. He never said anything about any of that. Okay. So you go see her, but your daughter's fine. Shoot his ID. Ah, I think it's up there. A paramedic who had been called to treat the desk worker for a panic attack tended to him. The incident attracted international attention and resulted in Avon Mayor Brian Jensen and Police Chief Richard Bosley apologizing to al Hali in person. The UAE's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation called for an apology from Avon officials and warned citizens against wearing a national dress when traveling to the United States. Ahmed al Hali agreed to drop the lawsuit following negotiations between his lawyers and attorneys for Marriott International. But up next, a YouTube prankster, CID, decided it was a good video idea to orchestrate a fake 911 call. We're legal. Like gas station? Yes, uh, at mobile. Where's, there's Coca-Cola. On January 27, 2022, CID, whose legal name is Jason Sid, in a video uploaded to his YouTube channel, showed the incident. In the video, Sidi told a friend to call local police about weird, suspicious activities at a gas station in southern Florida. 911, what is your emergency? Hello, um, I'm calling because I see like weird, suspicious activities at a gas station, like weird, legal. What gas station? Yes, uh, at Mobile, uh, by Chick Fil A in Cold Springs. He has a black hoodie. He keeps getting what in and out. University Drive. It's on University Drive. He has a black hoodie. He's keep on going, going in and out. Like people keep coming into the car and like he just University and what? Shadowwood? Yeah, yeah, Shadowwood. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, and he is he going into any vehicle? Uh sometimes he's going into the vehicle, but sometimes they're coming to him too. What type of vehicle is it? He has like a, a orange Benz, I think. What type of vehicle is it? Is it like a sedan, an SUV? It, it's like a, yes, it's like a SUV type of car. It's orange. And this vehicle is parked in the gas station? 
Yeah, it's like parked on the side, so where people just pull up to the side like, and stuff like that. Like, it's not parked up to the point. It's like he's parked up to the side trying to hide. And then while, like, every 10 minutes or a few minutes, like, someone will come up. Black clothing, all black. Hottest area right now, bro. Look how quick they pull up. And soon enough, a police vehicle pulls up to the gas station. The officer questioned Sid and his friends about why they were at the gas station. Oh, <laughs> Got your camera? Got the camera? How you doing, officer? Is there a problem? I don't know. Is there a problem? What's going on, uh, officer? You guys, what are you guys doing here? We're just chilling. Yeah. We just we just got a camera. Uh, we're just chilling. We're hanging out. Just, just chilling. Chilling and hanging out at a gas station. No, nah, we just pulled. We literally just pulled out to grab something. We live and, around here, bro. This is my. Yeah, we live right over there. What? No, I, I couldn't hear what you said. No, nah, sorry, sir. Is there? Is, he's, he's he's trying to tell me, explain to me why you're here. No, I'm he so lives around here. Okay, but you're driving the car, right? Whose car is this? My car. Okay. Do you have your license and insurance? Registration? Take do, a look. Do, so am, I, am, am I doing it? Do I have to give you that? Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to know what's going on. Yeah. So but, I'm but about you. Am, am I doing in, like am I doing anything illegal? Did, why why are you in the why are you in the the parking lot of a I'm just hanging out, bro. I'm I'm talking to my Zoom meetings. Do you live around here? Yeah, yes officer. Where do you live? Um one two two zero. You don't have to tell them where you live, bro. All right, I'm gonna come around and talk to them. You don't have to. No, you don't have to tell them where you live, bro. Have no ID with you? No, I have no ID, sir. Right, you don't so have. Do you, live? you don't have to give him your ID. But is is, is there? There's a suspicious activity. Can That's you tell I'm me what suspicious activity, sir? I don't know. I'm exactly, to you don't know. So there's no you. Twelve ten four. Occupy two times, sir. I don't know. I don't officer, I ain't gonna lie. Officer, I'm, I'm kind of nervous right now. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. You don't have to speak to him, sir. You don't have to speak to him, bro. Go ahead. Come on. I'm listening. I'm not going to jail. You're not doing nothing, bro. I'm not going to jail. We're not doing nothing. I'm not nothing. going to jail for you, bro. What's going on? No, nothing, officer. Alright, come on. 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 But do we have to speak with you right now? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Why? Because I want to know what's going on. Someone called about you guys. We're hanging out. What about them? What about them? What about them? What about every other car here? They didn't call about them. Okay, so what if I call about them? What? Nothing. Who's the, who's the registered owner of this car? Me, sir. You are? Yes, sir. Okay. So I can figure out who you are. Yeah, you can. I can. Do you want me? Do you want me to give you my my ID? I can give you my ID. Okay, sir. But I'm just asking. I'm I'm kind of nervous right now because you just came to me with no with no explanation. So. My heart is racing right now. So. Why's your heart racing? Here you go, sir. Thank you. All right. Do you have ID? No, sir. No. Okay. So you're Jason, right? Yes. Okay. Is this where you live? Yes, sir. Okay. Because when the plate, when I ran the plate, it came back. It didn't come back to Coral Springs, so that's why I kind of knew that you didn't live around here. Yeah. So that's why I, I said he lived here. In this area. Wait, why is there more cops coming? Soon, more officers responded to the scene, and one of the people with Sid telling the officer, "We got stuff in the trunk." Thirteen. Uh... All right, so Jason. All right, I ain't gonna lie. Chill, 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 no, 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 chill. Sure. Shut the fuck What's up, wrong? man. Chill, bro. Chill. We don't have to talk to him. Uh, he's been kind of uncooperative. He's over here talking to me. He I, gave me his ID. Uh, we, we got stuff in the car, bro. We got stuff in the car. 
No, why would the, why the why fuck would you say that? I'm bro? not, bro. I'm not going to jail for you. I'm not, bro. No, fuck, bro. We don't have to fuck. Can bro. I get my D bag, sir? We bro. 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 He has stuff. We have stuff in the trunk, officer. We have stuff in the trunk. Why would I'm you just, tell them that, bro? bro you're not going, I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to jail for y'all, bro. Gotta check the car, bro. I'm not going to jail for y'all, bro. Fuck up, bro. Damn, bro. You act like a bro. You tripping right now? What's going on, man? Can I get my D, sir? What the fuck, bro? You, you tripping, whoa! There's a guy in the, one guy in the back. I need you to roll this window down. Roll, roll that, that, roll that back window, window down, bro. Roll the back window down, bro. You gotta be cooperative. Right, right, right. Very good, very good. Okay. What's God. going on, man? There's nothing going on, sir. Nothing, okay. officer. So cooperate with us, okay? You're telling us there's stuff. CID and his friends were told to step out of the car while the police searched the vehicle. So we got stuff in the trunk. There's nothing in the trunk, sir. There's nothing, nothing in the trunk. There's nothing in the trunk. I mean, you've already told us there's something in the trunk. Yeah. That's why we're, we're at where we're at, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you just separated at this point? Are you checking in? No, I didn't even check nothing in that. Talking, you're not supposed to say nothing, fam. You be can plead the field. You're not supposed to say nothing while you're over here talking, bro. What do you want to do, sir? What's the next step? Or are we free to go? We're gonna figure that out. Are we free to go? Yeah. No, not no, yet. No, you're not free to go. How are we not free to go? See, bro. See, bro. Why are you gonna take us out the car for? We Oh my God, bro. No. 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 They're here. They're where you can see everything. I promise. There's no way you guys call more cops. No way. How you doing, Officer James? How you doing, Officer P. James? C. Fahey. Uh, what's your name, sir? You'll get my name. I'm huh? Officer Bowman. What's your badge number, sir? You got any weapons in the car at all? No, sir. No, sir. No, nothing. There's nothing in the car. All, all, all I'm gonna say is, there's all, nothing all, in the all, car, all, sir. No, no. All I'm gonna say is, I got a gun loaded. Right, do you guys want to check the car? Because I'm. I'm you got a gun loaded? No, 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 no,
How you know me? When police searched the car, the prank became very obvious, but no one found it to be funny. Check it. Yes, sir. Hit this button here? Yeah, pr I guess press it. I guess search a car. Hey, I'm gonna go to you in. Yeah, more Coca Cola. What's in the uh, backpack? Just camera equipment? Yeah, that's just our camera equipment. Do you want to open it? If you don't mind. I'll open it. All right, thank you. I don't want to like, damage your camera. No, no, I understand. I'm, you know. <laughs> Look, this is our camera equipment. After police completed their search of the car, Sid and his friends were free to go. Needless to say, the boys were pretty pleased with themselves after wasting the public official's valuable time. There is nothing in here, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, it's your boy Kicks here, and I'm back with another video. Come a little harder, come a little harder. <clears throat> Man, I said I'm back with another video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little man. Oh, I'm off that coke right now. <laughs> but 
but karma would soon come back to bite him, and this time with an arrest warrant. Yeah, I got, yeah, what's up? Okay. Jason, step outside the car for me, bro. Wait, why y'all coming here so Relax, aggressive? step out the car. Wait, what, what, what's happening? What's happening? Step out the car. Relax. What's Put happening? your phone down for a second. Hold on. Hold on. You have a warrant out for your arrest, man. Just relax. Step back this way. What? Hey, hey, grab my, hey, grab my phone on the seat. Grab my phone on the seat, fam. Yo, quit reaching around, man. Quit reaching around. Step back to the side for me, boss. I'm gonna get your keys, okay? All you need to do is right where they're at. That's it. No. That's all God grabbed. Don't worry about it. Come that side for me. I'm just gonna pat you down, okay? Yes, sir. YouTuber King Sid, who has 3 million subscribers on the platform, was arrested after he and his friends misused 911 as part of a YouTube Coke prank. CID was charged with the third degree felony. Misuse 911. He was arrested with a bond amount of $2,500. CID defended himself by saying he intended to call police to the scene, who would find a suspect behaving in a way consistent with someone who was selling drugs. Clyde Perry, the chief of the Coral Springs Police Department, said he was personally offended by the waste of resources the prank caused. Seven emergency calls or services were delayed due to the prank. 